Hi, Pastor John Chubik here, and uh, I just returned with uh, one of our other pastors, Josh uh, Erdzik, from a trip to Hungary, where we were meeting our missionaries and those that are working, helping inside Ukraine, and also meeting a number of the refugees who have come out of Ukraine. And of course, it's a very uh, chaotic, heartbreaking sort of situation. But I think in the midst of it all, the thing that so stood out is the way that God is working through his people, through the body of Christ in such an amazing way. And so uh, there are so many that are involved, uh, Calvary Chapel pastors, missionaries, uh, different people, both from inside the Ukraine and um, from the uh, the body there in Hungary, but then also Poland, Romania, Slovakia, you know, all different, reaching out to Germany and, and places like that where people are, are getting involved and coming together. So, um, of course, now almost three million refugees have come out of the Ukraine. It's a completely unprecedented flow of refugees, many coming from just absolutely heartbreaking situations. Uh, again, many people that we have known for years, people that have come out of our Calvary Chapel churches and, and things, and uh, as they share their stories, it's just incredible. As their towns have been destroyed and their homes have been destroyed, and uh, many of them, uh, everything they had in the world, they have lost in just a moment or two. And now they're coming out uh, many times that is being facilitated through Christians. Our guys are working 24 hours a day helping to organize transportation and working out different safe routes for leaving the country and pickups and vans and buses and things like that. The logistics of it is absolutely amazing. And it's just normal guys, missionary guys. They were not professionals in any way in these things, but now they're involved in many with very specialized skills, speaking the languages, uh, Russian, Ukrainian, Hungarian, many of these things, and utilizing the networks of churches and believers to facilitate aid and help, and just watching it happen, it's like a miracle as it is unfolding. Uh, and, and, and God is just working, and, and it's in the macro of all these amazing logistics and, and things like that, of, of millions and thousands of, of people, but then it's in the micro as people are being received by their brothers and sisters in Christ. The Hungarian church, as we saw it, you know, receiving their Ukrainian brothers and sisters in Christ with, with love and care and gentleness and, you know, miraculous things happening almost at the, the turn of a moment, you know, a whole orphanage full of children trying to find a place to land, being displaced, and, you know, phone calls being made, emails, these different things, and then, you know, within a matter of hours, uh, a place being found for this whole orphanage worth of kids to, to land. So, you know, those kind of things are just happening hour by hour. Um, it's pretty overwhelming, but the Lord is there. You know, underneath are the everlasting arms, and you really sense it, in the way this thing is unfolding. Of course, this is ongoing. Um, there's no end in sight, and everyone is kind of praying and hoping towards that. And so I think that is a major prayer point, is that this war would come to an end. So please pray uh, for it to finish, but uh, please pray that it would finish in a way that Ukraine would survive, that it's uh, the integrity of the nation, its borders and these things would remain intact and that there would be an opportunity to t turn from uh, helping those fleeing destruction to a point where people can come home and things can be rebuilt and life could go forward. Um, you know, that's what everybody's kind of hoping towards and praying towards. So a major prayer point there that the war would come to an end and, um, and then just for continued strength for those that are working. Like I say, many of those that are deeply involved in helping the refugees are like, they're working 16 and 18 hour days and, and just on their computers, hours without end and, and meeting people at train stations and, and solving all the logistical questions of finding places for people to stay and to be fed and, and all these things. So pray for strength 
you know, for those that are serving and helping. Pray for workers to come. Pray uh, that resources continue to flow. Um, thank you for all your generosity and in, in giving, and that is having a very real impact um, as the body of Christ around the world pours resources uh, into this situation. And, you know, just pray for people to come to know the Lord. People are coming to the Lord. Uh, you know, God is even using uh, Ukrainians in the midst of their sorrow and hardship and stuff. They're sharing the Lord. They are offering encouragement to others. But of course, there's much encouragement and, and all that is needed for them. So just pray for God to continue to work through his people uh, for the wisdom and guidance of the Holy Spirit and the things that are going on. And uh, yeah, we thank you for your prayers. Thank you for standing uh, with the Lord and with his people and, and just meeting this great need. And uh, yeah, amen.